Uh, if law students become 95% female, which they are rapidly becoming, then family court will end up being filled with female lawyers. Judges promoting women are wonderful. Rip husbands. Yes. It gets worse, though. You want to know how it gets worse? Because the the court-ordered mandatory um, marriage counseling will be done by women because, as I said, more women are in psychology and therapy professions and clinical psychologists. So you've got a female judge, you got a female attorney, you got a female <laughs> marriage therapist that's, you know, we got to go to a counselor, our marriage counseling, right? You're fucked from the jump. I, I, <laughs> this is when people talk to me about like, oh, men are afraid to get married because they want to lose half their stuff. That's like only, that's just the tip of the fucking iceberg, man. Like if you get married, you're probably going to get married. If you if you get married and you get divorced, you're probably going to be in front of a female judge with a female attorney, and probably yours too. Um, and you probably have a court order. Assuming you go to marriage counseling, it will probably be a female marriage counselor who is because psychology is dominated by women right now. Do you think that there might be some implicit bias? Do you think that they're going to be an arbitrary, you know, level-headed, you know, no 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 bias one way or the other? All you have to do. To, to understand that how fucked you would be is that, and this is statistical, this has been one of the most well-researched uh, data points that you'll ever find, is that women are charged far more leniently with the same crimes that men are charged. And this has been the, this has been the case since like the early 2000s, at least when they started tracking this. Same crimes. Men are charged way more harshly. Like men, women are, have get, get much leaner, uh, le more, more lenient sentencing than men do. For the exact same crimes. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, at the end of this month, I'm going to like the last Sunday of the month or maybe the first Sunday of June. I'm not sure. Uh, I will be doing my show. Finally, I have all the data I need to do my show on the teacher grapists, like statutory grapists. That'll be, I'm going to do a very full, fully comprehensive show on that because I've been collecting all of these, all of these stories since, uh, well, really the beginning, end of February, beginning of March. So for three months, I've been collecting all of these, all of these stories. And it is a plague. It is in debt. You want to talk about like grape culture? It exists in most of most public schools. It's not men, it's women. And they all fit a certain profile and they all fit a certain look physiognomy. And they all have, there's, there's definitely indicators of a woman who is more likely to want to get with her underage, you know, male student, usually male. There's a few. I've, there were uh, two of them out of all the sets that I've got. Two of them actually got with with girls. Um, but it is common enough that over the course of the last three months, I'm looking at probably at least well, well, May's not over yet. I think I've got at least thirty incidents right now in three months. So you're talking an average of ten a month, individual. In like like separate cases. All of these are new cases. I I made I tracked the dates that they were released or that they were arrested or whatever, booked. So, lady, and I I love to get in this because people go, well, it's mostly men who are doing this kind of stuff, and I'm like, no, no, it's not, because again, I'm getting back to the uh, the girl world analogy here. If you look at the if you look at the number of women who are in education right now, especially when it comes to like uh, in middle school and high school, uh, it's, I want to say it's 78% female in the United States and the U S anyway, some of these are like UK stories too, but um, in the United States, I want to say it's 78 or seven. It might even be 80 since I looked, but I have this infographic about why aren't there more men in education? I looked this up right by the way, after I did the show with uh, Dr. Richard Reeves, because he's like, well, we need to get men into education. We need them to be teachers, which is a real tall order, Rich. <laughs> and I thought about this. I found this. And it's like, you know, of course, the reason that they don't want to get into it is because it's a low prestige, low status, low paying, and uh, highly, um, highly risk, risky uh, career to get into. So not only are you in an all female, well, mostly all female environment, like I said, it's like 78. I think of last stats I looked at was 78% of your teachers from like preschool all the way to post-grad, right? Uh, maybe, maybe graduate school um, are going to be female unless you have like a math teacher or a coach. 
you're probably going to have mostly female teachers of everything today because women get into teaching. And you want to know, like when people start, talk, start talking about like, well, well, teachers are in uh, or the schools are indoctrinating our kids to be like purple haired Lena Dunham feminists. The college is just a feminist indoctrination camp. Like, well, yeah, well, look who the, the look at the, the, <laughs> the gender skew <laughs> of teachers and you will understand why that is. You think it's guys that are doing that? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe there are, but like not to, to the, it can't be to the degree because there are far more teachers that are female in well, grammar school, middle school, high school, even the, at least the, you know community colleges and and you know regular graduate colleges, right? So statistically speaking, there's going to be more women that are teachers than there are going to be men. So obviously, the skew is going to skew towards women. But we don't that don't nobody makes a big deal about that. In fact, you know what they do? They go, well, we're you you'll get this response. Every single one of these Twitter th threads is like. Well, where was she when I was 15 and I was a sophomore in high school? <laughs> I would have loved a girl to fuck me like that. Well, you were probably a fat fuck back then and you're a fat fuck now and she probably wouldn't have anything to do with you. So that's number one. And number two is that's the completely wrong attitude to have because if we're going to talk about an equal standard of justice, there is not there is a separate standard of justice for women and men. Men send an inappropriate text, they lose everything. You spent the last 10 years becoming a teacher You want and you had to learn you had to learn how, you know, whatever your subject is. Then you have to learn, you got to get your teaching credentials and you have to learn how to, how to teach. You have to learn all this shit. You have to protect yourself. You have to make sure that, you know, you, and then how much are you spending on, let's just say for sake of argument, you're spending money on student loans and everything. You have a, a, an investment for a very low paying job, to, at least to start with, and a high pop probability that if you get a, any kind of reprimand for sending, even like looking the wrong way at a girl. She, you don't have to do that. They can just ruin your life if they want to, because they say, "Oh, Mister Mister Tomasi was looking at me, made me feel uncomfortable." Bye, and you never get a job again. In the last, I don't know, eight years that you spent to get all those credentials and get that master's degree in teaching U.S. economics, whatever the fuck it is. Bye, go be a fucking barista, <laughs> go be a podcaster.